So yes, you read the title of this video correctly. I am putting out a challenge, not just for content creators, but to the UFC community. Can you guys get a win with Sam Alvey in an online match? Whether it's quick match, whether it's ranked, I want to know. You don't even have to send the video. Just comment below if you're willing to try this challenge. And let me know how you did. So, let's look at his perks. He has the, the Bulldog perk. Wrestle Clinic for some reason and Slippery, which I don't know why he has grappling perks, but but this is going to be tough. Look at his stats, man. His stats are really horrible. He has okay punch power. That footwork, 81 footwork? Are you kidding me? That is crazy. That is crazy. You know, his grappling, we're going to hope not to grapple. And then his health stats, the best health stat he has is his legs, so... Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to go look at his move levels real quick. So, okay. He has okay move levels as far as, like, the power strikes. Like, the straight, the lead hook. His rear hooks, pretty powerful. Level 3. Like, all your real power strikes are levels 3 to 4. So, that's good. Let's see his body work. Okay. Alright, so he has some good boxing. He has okay boxing, at least as far as move levels go. So, at least we have something to work with here. Oh, these kicks, man. Level 1 kicks. I haven't looked through every fighter in the game, but I think these are probably the worst kicks ever. Alright, he has some okay clinch work. So, if we need to take the fight there, you know, we can do it. Grappling, we're not even going to worry about grappling. Okay, he does have okay... Ground strikes in case we end up in like a ground and pound scenario. Maybe we can finish the fight. He has level 3 combos and level 1 Muay Thai combos. So let's see what we can do with Sam Alvey. So my first opponent picked Robbie Lawler. So in these matchups we're really going to have to be careful because we're always going to be at a disadvantage. And for one, your opponent's not going to want to lose to... A Sam Alvey, so that's going to give him a little bit more motivation, whether it's in ranked or quick match. It doesn't matter, you know. I, I wouldn't want to lose to a Sam Alvey. That's just me, personally, but that's my competitive edge right there, you know. But, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to try to work on his body the best I can. Right there, we exchange body shots. So if he starts throwing the uppercut, I'm either going to try to sidestep it, or right, he's starting to throw the uppercut, so let's go to the body. Nope. Oh, there we go. He baited him out. So he's able to sidestep. Get a rock. Getting it back up. Very smart on his part. You're going to see a lot of, like, a lot of simple things here, man. I can't. I had to try to control myself because I like to kind of put the pressure on my opponent and sometimes try to overwhelm them with combos, but with Sam Alvey's uh, cardio, I'm not going to be able to do that. Got to be careful with this body work here. He is looking for the uppercut, so. Okay. I tried to I tried to back step and throw a strike, but I was holding a block, so my uh, my strike didn't come out fast enough. All right, All right I gotta. I'm ahead in this round. I don't really need to push it. Push the Oh, that could have been bad if he if he had countered. All right, you gotta gotta relax here. I mean, it seems like he's not even landing... Oh, I did not mean to throw the head kick. seems like he's not even landing clean shots, and my head health is already down. You guys see that? Like, my head health is... My head health is, uh, lower than his, and... And, and I got a rock. So, this just tells you how, how tough... You gotta be careful doing that, man. I will block counter that. Yeah, I can just feel the 81 foot work. It's it's crazy. So, all right. So right now we're kind of playing on the back foot here, going for it now. But all 
I should have pulled one of those. I gotta, I gotta start playing smarter here. Only 30 seconds left. I don't want to do any. I don't want to get caught. That's why I'm not really throwing right now. Just work that ball a little bit. Ah. Man, I don't know. Oh, we dropped him. I was going to say, I don't know if I'm a little too heavy on the stick, but sometimes when I try to pull counter, like I'll accidentally click the stick. Or I don't know if it's my controller. I feel like I'm being light, but if you. If you guys watch it back right there in that last little sequence, I pull countered. Well, I pulled back and then I switched stance, and it's just a little annoying thing. Like I said, I don't know if it's my controller or if I'm too heavy on the stick. I feel like I'm being pretty light, but I was able to catch him. I sealed that round, went for that overhand, and I caught him. One thing I'm doing well, I feel, is I'm actually staying in southpaw. Which I'm not, I don't feel like I'm good in softball. I've been trying to get better. Alright, so my stamina is higher than his. Oh, okay. He's starting to move his head now. Gotta be careful. Seems like he's getting a little frustrated. He's trying to come forward more. Oh. I'm uh, say be careful. Oh, damn it. Man, look at my head health. Not good. Uh, you gotta push the issue a little bit. Getting a little too comfortable here. Don't wanna lose this first fight. Oh, there we go. Gotta block that body, man. Gotta block that body. Careful doing that, told you. Block that body. You gotta block your body. Yeah, you were starting to make you were starting to rally a little bit there, so I had to had to do what I could to shut him down. I got that slipped. He kept throwing those double uppercuts. You got that he got that slip straight, I was able to rock him and I saw that he wasn't blocking his body well. He was working my body pretty well, but he wasn't he wasn't worried about his own body and I feel like that was his downfall right there. Alright, let's try to get I'm gonna try to get maybe one more fight, maybe two. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, let's move on to the next fight. Alright, so again we got a heavy hitter, giving more power with Paul with Paulo Costa. So, jeez. Let's see what let's see how this player is. In in these fights are just in quick match, but they're still they're still tough, especially at this with this uh this advantage here. Catch that one. Uh, it seems like he wants to play at distance. He used that teep twice. Oh, nice. nice. All right. Definitely has the better footwork. See how he can move in and out very easily. I, I cannot do that. Ah. So, starting to lag a little bit. No matter how good my connection is, it always seems to just lag just a little bit. My connection is good. Like, like the MS for this was like, was like 70. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Gotta focus up here. Stop talking about the fucking internet. Man. Alright. Can't really can't really trade with him, but I wanna to try to catch him. I wanna see what he what he wants to do. Maybe catch him going to my body. Maybe catch him pulling. Work his body, work that cardio of, uh, of, uh, Costa here. Let's 
a little kick every now and then, maybe. Since uh, since he's playing this in and out game here, I might have to start to do that. Yeah, he's using that retreat, so. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a tougher fight than uh, the last one. Ah. Probably was going to lunge him with a body hook. Or a body kick. Ooh, nice overhand landed. Oops, body. Oh! Damn it! One shot, man. Holy fuck. I was just about to say, work his body and. You guys saw, saw what happened. He didn't even block counter that. I think he just threw an uppercut. And so, let's see the replay. No, nope, he didn't even block counter that. He f wow, he flashed me, bro. Alright, one and one. Let's try to leave this video on a win. So, I'm going to load up the next fight, and yeah, let's get to it. So, it was just a matter of time before we ran into the Reaper. When you're playing in this, in this division, you know, he's a very common fighter. But, oh man, after that last, after that last fight, I, I don't even know if this is, uh, uh, gotta try to use smart pressure here. I gotta land those big shots. I feel like I have to try to land some big shots early here. So I'm going to use that overhand a little bit more. Just got to watch out for the uppercut. Alright, so he's throwing a lot of jab straights. Trying to close the distance with a leg kick. That's fine. Alright. So. So far he's not throwing. He's not trying to throw an uppercut while I go to the body. So I might be able to work his body a little bit better. But. I don't want to get flashed again, so. That kick. Gotta try to block those shots to the body. That this is what I have to do, guys. I have to I have to overcommit his block. It's just you know, I'm at a big disadvantage here. So there is gonna be some block breaking here. But, hope you guys can forgive me. Jab overhand. There we go. That got some good damage there. So what I'm trying to do with the overhand is I'm trying to beat his his rare rare hand strike. He's throwing the jab hook a lot, and since we are in opposite stances, every time he throws that rear hook, I'm trying to beat it with my overhand. Not every time, but when I see the good opening, because if I can catch him with that overhand while he's like on his like on his start frames, I can. I can catch him in vulnerability and get some good damage off and possibly a rock. So, so against Robert Whitaker, I have to do that. I have to try to get some early damage here. And I feel like I'm doing a good job. Right, got him backing up. There we go. See, he's throwing that jab hook a lot. I pulled that one. So we're going to start to pull it. We're trying to land the overhand. You know, I got two options here. Naked head kick, not gonna get me with that. So so far we're winning this round. What do we got? A minute left here. Oh damn it. Just as I say that, gotta watch out for that one two head kick from Robert Whitaker here. Because it'll probably KO me if he lands it again. That switch stance. Alright, right, so I feel like I won that round. He may have stole it with that last rock, but I don't think so. So he's getting a little bit predictable. He's throwing that jab hook a lot. So let's see if we can pull it if he does it again. Yep, here we go. There's body. So next time I rock him, I'm not gonna go to his body. I'm doing that too much. 
I do that because a lot of guys, when they get rocks to the head, they, they won't block their body. So you can get some good damage off, but you got to be careful for guys that do pick up on that. And then overhand. Ooh. Okay. Cover some head health. I mean, yeah, the footwork is just... You can just tell. Even with, like, fighters like Paulo Costa... And Robbie Lawler, you can tell, but you can definitely tell with uh, Robert Whitaker here. And again, if you're the Robert Whitaker player, you don't want to lose to me. You don't want to lose to Sam Alvey. You have all the advantages in the world. And if you, oh, that straight rocked him. That level four straight, man. Trying to put the pressure on him. Oh, that would have been bad if he caught me with the elbow. So I, I'm at a point where if he just lands clean, oh, just as I say it, I said if he lands clean, he's gonna rock me. I gotta be care, I gotta be careful. He's chewing up my leg. There we go. Caught him in a whiff. Oh, I went to his body. Let's go all head here. Hook, hook, hook. Can we finish it? I'm not even gonna let him. I'm not gonna let him off the hook. You put yourself in that bad position. Finish the fight. You gotta take what you can get when you're using these lower rate characters. Man, that was tough. It might not have looked tough, but God, I'm telling you guys that, that it's tough, man. It's tough. Like it seemed like I did a lot of damage in that first round, but then all of a sudden it just seemed like my head health was going, and he just. Uh, he just had to focus on laying clean, and he probably could have got me out of there, but I feel like he was trying to rush. I mean, he was getting beat up by Sam Alvey, so he was probably getting a little, you know, a little discouraged, you know, a little frustrated. But all right, we went 2-1-1. That's way better than Sam Alvey has done in his last eight fights, so I'm going to call it a day. Call it a day with Sam Alvey. Let me know if you guys... Uh, are willing to try to get a win with Sam Alvey, whether it's in ranked or whether it's in quick match. These fights were in quick match, so I'm not going to hate on anybody. But just let me know in the comments. Maybe, you know, if you feel like posting a video, post a video. Let me know how you did. And, uh, yeah, Sam, Alve Sam Alvey's actually fighting this weekend. That's kind of why I did this uh, video. So let's see if he can break his eight-fight win streak. But all right, guys, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But if you don't do any of that, at least have a good day. I'll see you in the next one.